it's shamelessly fun sized. This is my re audition for Thorns of Truth. I'm sorry, I just like I was looking at it and I'm like, oh god, this is like I can't stand it. I don't know why. I just can't stand it. So I hope you don't hate me too much because I'm redoing this. But I hope it kind of I don't know. I just hope it's better. So <laughs> Okay, I'm going to audition again for all the female roles, and I hope you consider. So, Nala, if I knew what this day would bring, I would not just sit here staring at that ancient moonlit fountain. On the other hand, was it perhaps my duty to know as niece of nature? The second character is La Luna, obviously. Do not worry, young mother. I am not here to judge you for anything. I came to make a proposal. Did you hear the news of my firstborn son? I thought that was a rumor. So it is true. You have a son. Who knew that a goddess would offer a part of herself to this miserable planet called Earth, if only to save the good-minded people? Nala, you have to understand that I cannot nurture my child myself. I need to put faith in a human's hand, and I do not have much contact with anyone but you. Therefore, I trust you to be a stepmother. Until death. Can I entrust you in this important task? And the second scene between Xanthia and Arachi? Because I said Araki before, but is, is it like Arachi or Arash? I'm going to say Arash. <laughs> so, Xanthia. The hell? What is wrong with you, Arash? Do you always have to bother your brother while he's busy with his obligations? He will never be able to succeed them because of you. Why do you and Daddy pay so much attention in his succeeding to become a king while you handle me like an outcast? It is not fair. I am much better in hunting and fighting techniques. The only thing a loon can do is be foolish human douchebag. He is excessively kind for a vampire, in my opinion. <sighs> Come on, Arash, you're obviously exaggerating. <sighs> you keep saying that, but all I want is doing what pleases me, and that is hunting and wandering through the forest. I make people feel terrified when I'm near them. In addition, your talk about discipline and behavior bores the hell out of me. I'm done here. And the fourth scene's Persephone. Here I am, surrounded with tons of books. I have all the knowledge, but I still don't know how to tempt souls. Was this all that is available for me to learn? I know the human body from the inside out. I know philosophy. I know ethics. I learn the ways of the spirits, but no secrets are unfolded. I even mastered the art of poisons. I can give people a terrible disease, but I can also cure them. However, I cannot make love potions, no matter how tempting the ingredients might be. This is frustrating, really. I would sell my soul to know the ways of utter temptation. And the last scene between Jolie and Jail. So this is it? You suddenly changed your mind and leave me? Is that what you really want? Alright. It seems that I can't talk you out of it. Get out of my sight before I attempt to hurt you. Whoa, sissy, what's up with you? Did that guy do this to you? Did he make you upset? Didn't I tell you he couldn't be trusted? <sighs> You're right. I should have listened to you. But it's too late now. He'll be leaving soon. Oh, please don't cry now. Just get him out of your head. You'll see. In the shortest time, you will feel better than ever without him. I found him a suspicious person in anticipation, and it seems that I was right after all. Hey, what do you think about planning a little slumber party? Just the two of us. We need to spend more time together. Since you met him, you suddenly forget to hang around with me more often. Oh, it sounds good.
And I'm really sorry for what happened between us. And that is all. So I hope this is better. If not, then I'm wasting both of our time. But <laughs> yeah, I hope you consider me because again, this looks really amazing. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out with or without me. So yeah, thanks.